Good morning, everybody. This is Danny and Wanda back here on the garage uh, slash she shed build. Guys, it's, uh, this video may encompass a couple of days. We uh, have inclement weather going on. You can see in the background how foggy it is. Storms um, coming from the coast, possibly. Um, Danny can't work outside when it's wet and the roof's already wet, so he can't yeah. do a whole lot other than put the rest of the trim on. Well, the humidity is so high this morning that when you put the rake and gable on, you got to be able to put silicone where the screws are. Mm -hmm. And with all the water on the roof and the humidity and condensation, uh, I can't I can't work up there this morning. So it has to be after it dries off up in the day, and then it depends on if the weather comes in by then, then we may not get to that part. But in the meantime, we're going to be working on the ledges here where one and I are sitting. Uh, I have a system I'm going to put in here to kind of make it a little bit more appealing. Uh, plus cap off the metal on the outside. And the stuff on the inside. Yeah, it'll, the... it'll cap over the inside stuff that we put on the walls, the uh, Euro board. And, and who knows what one you might have in the future for these little ledges, other than sitting on them. Well, they'll be more than <laughs> sitting on I mean, uh, there's all types of possibilities for these. I mean, I could call a glass company and have them come in and... We could glass this all in. I mean, we could screen it in. We could be screened in. We yeah. could use it as you could put those um, hangers, the pot to grow. Could put grow pot hangers on the outside. There's. We've got lots and lots of ideas. It's just according to what manifest and how much else we get done. <laughs> yeah, it depends on how the economy runs. You know, I mean, if the economy tanks on us and we have to have even more growing space. And I can take some, build some boxes and put out here and it will give us even more places to grow things like lettuce and you know things like that, that uh, strawberries that, that stuff's not going to mess with. I mean, that's And it would point. be awesome to have window boxes. Yeah. Um, I've been working in the greenhouse this morning. I got some things planted. Uh, I cleaned some of mine out because some of it was just at its end of growth period. So I've been replanting. It's all about rotation. Yep. Here. We're trying to rotate. So we got all the corners on the outside this morning. We got all the edges of the roof screwed down. Um, we went back on the walls, places that we had left to do. We went back and done all that. So technically speaking, all the metal on the building has been screwed down. The only thing left is trim. And, and we will be... Ridge. Well, ridge is classified as trim. So yeah. once that's in, uh, I mean, we can technically start on the inside now as far as wiring and stuff like that. We just have to make sure there's no wiring going to be where the ridge is because if water comes down to here during the rain, we don't want the wiring to get wet. But, and at um, the end of this video, my hope is to show you the whole outside completely finished with the ridge. So it, it probably encompass at least two days. Two to three, but it depends. It depends on the weather because yeah. once this front passes, it's going to turn off bitter cold. <laughs> And, you know, working up high on steel and it bitter cold is, is difficult. And, and I'm older and, and I'm about making things as easy as possible. So we're going to do what we have to do. So right now he's just to show you what he's going to do with these. Okay, this is kind of what we were talking about. We've got this ledge here uh, cut. Uh, we're notching it around the post. We'll come back and put some pieces in between the posts like in here. We'll fill that in, get it all caulked up, painted good. We're going to screw this thing down. We're not going to nail this one. We're going to screw it down because the screws have a tendency to hold a little bit better. Plus, this is treated wood, and I don't have any galvanized nails that I can actually do this with. And I'd rather put the screws in it. So if I ever had to take it up for any reason, I can just unscrew it and take it up. So that's this is kind of what we're uh, talking about here, having a nice ledge to use. Well guys, that moment has arrived. We have finished the trim and I think the building has all come together. Wonder and I are all excited now. The building is ready to begin the electrical work on and stuff like that. I've just got the one little daunting task of putting that ridge down the top of it. And once that's done, that's gonna be very time consuming 
uh, because to me, I don't care what you do to a building. You can put all this fancy trim on, you can do all that, but if you screw the ridge up, you've rent the building. Um, if that ridge, if you look up there and the top of the ridge is all, the metal's all wavy and bent up and wacky looking, you just rent the looks of the whole building. So, uh, this is something that's going to take me a long time today to get right, and it's going to be very slow. So, other than that, the metal on the building is finished. We have completed everything except that little task, which is, to me, one of the most important tasks. So... That's going to be the next thing I got to get up there and get done. I'd like to be able to reach the whole thing from here. I don't know about that, Papa. I'm going to reach. We're going to try. right I'm, all I want is one side to be okay. right as long as I'm in the center on the pin down there I'm Well, good morning, guys. This is Danny and Wanda from Deep South Homestead. We are back here in front of our garage she shed build. Uh, we have completed the outside now. Um, it Ellie, is dried in. Yes. We, usable. Uh, it's usable. Um, uh, Jesse, Wanda's son, came yesterday and helped me finish putting the ridge on the top of it, which was a tremendous blessing. Because the wind was crazy The wind yesterday. was like 25 miles an hour, and I was just like laying down on the ridge, and Jesse and was Wanda was to not getting up there. So yeah. thank you, Jesse, for helping. Yeah, thanks Plus, a million for that, yeah. He helped you get the... He helped down. me put out the pull-down attic stairwell. We got that installed yesterday also. Uh, now we can walk up into the attic with a pull down. We got the oversized ones so that it makes it, you put a four foot sheet of plywood up through there, it's not a problem. So we got the big one to go in it. Uh, it's one Danny had for I've had it 10 for, or 12, 15 years. Yeah, I took it out of a man's <laughs> house. There was nothing wrong with it. And he gave it to me. So I was like, hey, yeah. so that's why I don't throw nothing away. So now we have a way to get into the attic, easy access. He's fixed to be wiring, I guess. Because yep, we're, we're off-grid right now. We we're off-grid with it. Well, <laughs> I'm, uh, Wanda helped me just a few minutes ago pull all the entrance cables through the pipes uh, mm -hmm. in, up into it. So I will be wiring the box, uh, getting electricity into the building now. That will be the yeah. next phase. And so I wanted to take you on a tour around the outside. And I'm going to try, because this morning's kind of cloudy, and I'm hoping it'll do it justice. The metal is a light stone and it's a charcoal gray. In some pictures, people thought it was blue, and it's really not blue, but it's not according blue. to how the light hits it. So yeah. uh, the pictures will be charcoal gray, even though the light may hit it in different ways when I go around, but I want to show you the finished building on the outside. The only thing we lack is painting some trim around the doors on the outside, and that's uh, 
that will probably be done a little bit later because the weather's just too damp and humid right now. Yeah. Uh, so we'll we'll get that on a sunny day when everything's good and dry. And we hadn't built the porch on the back. That will come next week or the week after? Probably next week sometime. I'll, once I get all the electrical ran in here, because that's kind of a big issue. We came out last night and it was all dark in here and you got to have flashlights to do everything. <laughs> so I told her, I said, you know what, let me just go ahead and get the thing wired, get some temporary lighting in so that we can at least have some light out here at night if we yep. come out here. So I'm going to do the outside. That's what we're going to show you today. The finished outside. It is dried in. You see my car and the Ranger fit under there perfectly. Tomorrow, I'm gonna give you the tour and show you the plans for the inside. So, guys, this is what, like day 19? 20 days, if, yeah, if Let's just say 20. 20, let's just say 20. 20 days from a slab to a blacked in building that's completely finished on the outside. I don't and think that's- And it's usable. And it's usable, I don't think that's too bad. Cause we sat out here yesterday with Jesse and Patty and just sat under here just yep. enjoyed it most of the day. It was a pretty day. And Danny and I have been sitting out here every day. And we have, I mean, it's just awesome. So we're creating places on our homestead for us to relax. We, we have the cabin, we have the pier, and now we have this. We have our front porches. We have our back porch, our deck. So yeah. anywhere we want to go, we are creating our own mini vacation spot, I well, guess you'd say. Well, a lot of people have asked, let me go ahead and say this, a lot have asked, what size is it? You know, how many square feet is that? And I always just say 500 square feet, you know? Uh, but actually it's around 800 square feet, to be honest. Yeah. And uh, then it's gonna have an attic. And then it's got an attic that's uh, probably another 200 square feet on that. Yeah. So, um, oh no, maybe not quite 200. Well, maybe so, it's yeah. It's gonna be close. It'll be close. Yeah, it's gonna be a nice little attic. Nice little attic. So that's the size of the building. And I know a lot of people go, gosh, it's bigger than my house. Well, technically yeah. everybody's going to tiny houses. Ta that's, but yeah, everybody's going to tiny houses. But here in the deep south, I mean, we have, we have homes. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I needed space. And I know tiny house just is not in our vocabulary. We love well, the cabin. But if I had to can, cook, um, just, everything in that cabin would be expanding because yeah. my pots don't fit in there and you don't ha you you would have to have somewhere to put stuff right and it's that's just... why we have a barn that's why we have the the she shed now the house and the cabin the cabin is simply a relaxing place it yeah. is not meant for me to go over there and can and and do a lot of cooking we do a minimal cooking over there yeah. um, so we, that's why we create places on our homestead for what we need. Well, that's the American dream. And the problem today is the American dream, we're being robbed of it. We're being told we can't have, we can't have. You need to live in a tiny you house. You gotta live too. little, you gotta live little. You can't have nothing. That's not the American dream. <laughs> no. The American dream, our forefathers owned hundreds of acres of land. They had huge barns, the big barns huge were homes. bigger than their houses. Yeah, the barn was usually bigger than the house, had big families. I mean, everything was big. And now we, you're told to downsize, get littler, littler. You know, that's 1.2 children. How do you do that? Or 1.5, I guess. That's 1.5, <laughs> whatever. But guys, that is the American dream has been stolen from us. So we don't believe in that. We believe that we should be able to live our life. We believe we should be able to have the American dream if we wish to. And mm -hmm. that's what we have saved and saved and saved for. And yep. now it's time to implement it. And you're going to really like the inside. You're going to like the outside. It's very nice. But when I show you what I got planned for the inside, you're going to go, now I see the vision. Yeah, you'll have the vision. Yep. So let's see what the outside looks like, guys. Take them on a tour. All right, guys, we're at the front where we park the cars. This is totally finished. You see the stone with the trim the rake gable everything's done we've painted the post this wall has the metal going up it and it's gray but when you get up to the top he put a beam and i painted it gray and it comes all the way across so we have the gray beam he made these transitions and we painted all of this gray we have this the ledge for sitting in each open area and the beams they're all gray 